Yo, this synesthetic, I just wanted to talk about the fact that you can take something like an EQ8 and drop it in. And as you see, it already has a low cut on it because I'm going to be using this EQ a lot to do just that, to cut the sub. Um, or we can take this glue compressor and as you see, the soft clip is already on because I use this to, for clipping all the time. Probably even more than I use it for compression or like side chaining, honestly. Well, maybe not, but... Um, so yeah, pretty much you just change what you want, like turn the soft clip on and then hit save as default preset right here. You right click, save as default preset, and you're good to go. That'll save you so much time. Let's see. Another example would be if I take multiband dynamics and drop it in. And you see it's already set up to be an OTT because I like almost never use the regular. And then I just have, I saved, um, the original default as a preset that I can pull in. And then we have saturator. The soft clip is on because I use that for clipping a lot too. You can always just turn it off. Um, and then let's see. I believe the vocoder is set to be self modulating. Oh, it is not. So let's put the carrier on modulator and hit enhance. Then let's do the range all the way down, all the way up, put 28 bands, and then save as default preset. Another one we could do is um, take the amp, and then you're going to want to put the output on dual so that it's stereo. And I usually like to go with one of the, you know what, I'll just keep it as blues, and then save as default preset. Something else you can do is you can take like reverb I took and I turned the dry wet down a good bit because by default you bring it in and the dry wet's super high and it's like super obvious and as you know probably like when you're doing these effect processing things and like mixing you kind of want it all to be transparent so that you can as a producer know kind of what's going on but the average listener isn't like whoa there's a reverb they're more just like, that sounds good. We have auto pan right here. I'm going to drag that in. And as you see, I think I've said this before in another video, I have the phase turned all the way down. The rate set to quarter notes. And yeah, um, a downward slope. So that's going to create like a volume LFO modulation, which is really cool for like basses and like, um, you know, trance gates on like vocals and all kinds of cool shit. Uh, I'd recommend putting like a reverb after it a lot of the time. Um, and that's about it. That'll save you a shitload of time. Pardon my French. And I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Devil's charm, an angel's glitter.